And let it go for Woo! Nestor Gomez, everybody! This was the first time Nestor Gomez told a story in front of an audience, and he almost didn't make it to the stage. I was freaking out. I, was freak I almost chickened out like three times. If it wasn't because of my wife, I would have chickened out. I was 15 years old when my family moved from Guatemala to uptown Chicago. He was worried about his accent and whether an American audience could relate to an undocumented immigrant. But he gave it a shot and it changed his life. On my first day in Chicago, I met some Mexican kids who offered to show me around the neighborhood. That first story was about how an innocent phrase in Guatemalan Spanish means something very different and quite crude in Mexican Spanish. Apparently, the audience could identify with a story about a boy's embarrassing misunderstanding with a girl. And Nestor came in first that night. And he's won 36 story slams since then, a record in Chicago. What makes Nestor such a compelling storyteller is that he tells stories that have to do with sort of everyday struggles of him navigating through life. But I think what makes him extra special is when you put that against the backdrop of his own story. It's 1980. I'm about 10 years old, living in Guatemala with my siblings and my parents. But we are very poor. My family, we used to make little worry dolls that we used to take to the airport to sell to, well, to the white people that came to the, <laughs> to the airport for tourists. Nestor's parents came to Chicago first to find work and left Nestor and his siblings with grandparents. But the Civil War got so bad that my mother realized that it wasn't safe for us to be in Guatemala anymore. So she decided that she was going to bring us to the United States instead. Their father came back to get them, and Nestor remembers running behind the coyote, or immigrant smuggler, to get them across the border. I feared that we were going to be separated from our father. I feared that we were going to get lost. And I feared that we were going to get caught and wouldn't be able to see our mother or be reunited with our mother. That was 1985. Nestor Gomez became a U.S. citizen in 2018. For the last 10 years, he's worked as a quality control inspector for a Chicago manufacturer. And now, in addition to his stories of everyday life, he's made it his mission to educate Americans about immigration and to offer comfort to young immigrants. When I was in high school, I didn't see anybody talking about immigration. There were nobody that would come to the school and tell us about how, how the immigration process is and how we should feel about it or we shouldn't be ashamed of it. So please, welcome Ms. Bellana. Nestor Gomez also produces a show called Around the World in 80 Minutes. And it's a show where we bring uh, immigrants, descendants of immigrants and allies of immigrants to share immigration related stories. Nestor has told more than 100 stories so far, and he continues to bring humor to many of his stories, like encountering his baby for the first time. He was a really good-looking baby. He kind of looked like me. I was like, hey, he's a cute baby. But he also takes on other deeply serious topics, like alcoholism, domestic abuse, and his own sexual abuse as a child. Now, I love my uncle, and when he asked me, to pull down my pants, lay down on the grass, face down so he could get on top of me. I let him. That's the way life is, you know, some days life is really funny, some days it's not. That's the way that the stories come out as well. So I got married and I immediately had two kids. Because he is so, so open and willing to share very personal things about his life, um, he um, immediately connects with our down. audience of of strangers, but people at the end of the night feel like, you know, they've made that connection. Thank you. Give up a nest to everybody.